Good morning, Mr. Brown. So I understand you've been having some trouble breathing, maybe a persistent cough. Can you tell me a little about that? Yeah, it's been getting worse lately. I quit smoking years ago, but this cough just isn't going away. My wife says I wake up coughing all night and I feel exhausted all the time. Okay, that sounds frustrating. Um, have you noticed any other symptoms like wheezing or chest tightness? Yeah, I've been wheezing a lot lately. Okay. Um, I understand you work in the coal mines? Yeah, for 10 years, but I, I had to retire because I just couldn't breathe anymore. Uh, we've been on disability, but it's just so difficult. There's not much money coming in. I can understand that. So, does anybody else in your family have any kind of breathing problems? My dad had breathing problems later in life. Um, my uncle, he had a cough for years. Uh, my brother, he also, he coughs a lot and we just thought it was from the smoking. Well, I'd like to order some tests to get a clearer picture of what might be going on. So I'm going to order a pulmonary function test, a chest CT scan, and genetic testing. Have you had any issues getting to appointments or affording medications? It's been difficult. Um, we had to drive over an hour to get here and the medications are really expensive. Mm -hmm. We try, but it's hard. I appreciate you sharing that. We do have some resources that we can set you up with to help cover some of the costs. And there is actually a mobile unit that travels around. We can let you know when that mobile unit is closer to your home. Okay, we'll get you scheduled. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown. It's good to see you guys. I do have some test results ready for you, but first tell me how things have been since I last saw you. Not much better. I'm still coughing a lot and I get winded just walking out to the mailbox. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, based on your test results, you have alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. It's a genetic condition that causes lung diseases like emphysema. Um, even in people who don't smoke or who haven't smoked in years. So this likely explains why your symptoms are worse for you than your family. We're worried about what all this means. He's only 42 and he's getting worse. And if Bill's being tight, I'm not sure how we're going to be handing more treatment. That's completely understandable. Um, the good news is that there is treatment available, including augmentation therapy. This involves infusions that help replace the missing alpha-1 protein and slow the progression of lung disease. Okay, so I do know though that access to treatment and financial barriers have been a big concern for you guys. I didn't even know this was genetic. Our brother's been coughing a lot too. We just thought it was from smoking. Well, it is important that you talk to your family about getting them tested as well, okay? Um, we can get you some information on genetic counseling services that might be available for you guys. That'd be helpful. We just have to worry about how we're gonna get this paid for. Well, there are programs that can help you, okay? We can connect you with financial counselors who specialize in assisting patients that are in your same situation, okay? Um, we'll work together to make sure you get the care that you need. There is a mobile health clinic that visits areas in Eastern Kentucky, rural areas where you all are from, and they offer infusion treatments for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. So we will get you guys set up. They go on a rotating schedule, so I'll make sure you leave with that information today, okay? My office is gonna be in touch, but don't worry, we will get you through this.